Hello everybody. Uh, today I am back with my next video on cars and this time I want to discuss about the core relationship between uh, seat belts and the airbags. We had um, an accident of a senior industrialist who expired. His name was Cyrus Mistri in the last few weeks. And thereafter we all have been reading uh, something or another about the causes of the accident and the use of seat belts etc. So I thought let me make some uh, small contribution towards clarifying the role uh, and the link between these two things. Maybe I would like to dedicate this video to uh, Cyrus and man many other unfortunate people who could not survive such accidents. Uh, my name is Dinesh Basin and I have worked with automobile companies for 38 years. My first company was Maruti in 1983 and as I just mentioned, I retired from Tata Motors uh, four years ago and now I am on my own. In case you want to have access to my earlier videos, uh, just Google Dr. Dinesh Basin car care and you will get access to my earlier videos. So talking simply, in very simple words, I would like to explain this concept uh, simply about the seat belts and the airbags. Let's say I'm sitting and I'm driving at a speed of 60 km per hour. In an unfortunate case of an accident, my body and the car, they both are driving at 60 km per hour. The car comes to a halt. It stops, but my body continues to move forward like this. So in a sudden speed reduction from 60 to let's say zero or five or 10 km per hour, my body, upper body will be thrown in the front the seat belts if i have done the seat belts properly the seat belts would prevent my body to be thrown forward even then i would say even then my neck or my uh, my neck or the head or this upper portion could be uh, thrown forward because the impact is very high if there is something cushioning in the forms of airbag which comes in from front and then I don't hit the steering or I don't hit the uh, windshield or other parts of the car or other flying objects in between. I mean, when the accidents happen, anything can fly in between. Even a mobile in your pocket can also come in between you and the steering wheel, which can be very dangerous. So that's a simple relationship. The seat belts prevent me from going forward like this. And from forward, the airbags come and provide a cushion to my face, uh, my neck, my shoulder, my ribs, lungs, etc. If both are functioning together, chances are nothing much will happen to you and very high chances are that you will not, uh, accidents will not, accident will not be fatal. This is the simple linkage between seat belt and airbag. So, air, when seat belt is not fastened, then there is no use of airbag. In fact, it could be more dangerous. So unless you fasten the seat belt, the airbag by and large will not operate. Of course, operation of airbag depends upon other factors also, the speed, the impact, the angle, the sensor functioning also like that. So this is very important. Uh, we both, we should wear the seat belt. I'm talking of the driver or the co-passenger. Similarly, the people in the rear seat also should be uh, sort of tied to the seat with the help of seat belt otherwise they will be thrown in the front the rear seat passengers or for example the child or anything kept in the rear seat will will almost fly like a missile in case of an accident towards the front so the rear passenger can fall on the front passenger between the two seats the rear passenger can go and straight away hit the windshield in case he has worn the seat belt it is fine he will not be so seat belt ties you with the seat. Similarly, for the rear seats passengers, there would be side airbags also. But primarily, I want to talk about the linkage between seat belt and the airbag. This is how or as simply I think I can explain or I could explain the relationship. So seat belts should work. You should always tie the seat belts while driving and the airbag should be working. And then, as I said, the accidents by and large can be provided not, I mean, they will not be fatal. 
Uh, I would also like to give few hints, very few hints shortly and briefly about the other safety items quickly. I want to keep the video uh, small. Uh, for the seat belts and the sensors of the airbags and also the algorithm or the software to work, you should get your car serviced properly. Whenever the car goes for service in the workshop, they do check seat belts, airbags functioning and as I said, all the software also are updated. Second point, be aware of the tires conditions and the road conditions also, especially on the potholes. You can be suddenly taken for a surprise because of a pothole. Third point, I would say never, never, never overtake from wrong side. In India, where you drive on the left side of the road, do not overtake from the left side of the vehicle. You do not know what's going to be in front of you. Again, to avoid some traffic and safety related information, don't jump traffic lights. You never know what could happen. Uh, fifth point which comes to my mind for this uh, safety issue is some people are fond of keeping children in their lap while driving. Uh, please do not do it. In case of an accident, I mean, you can imagine as I explained the working of the seat belts and the tendency of the seat as well the people to be thrown forward what can happen to any object including the child in the lap another important thing which we have seen as i said i worked for so many years in car industry in my accident shops i have seen uh, don't keep any loose items inside uh, under the uh, brake pedal or the area where your foot accelerator brake pedal clutch etc are there they can suddenly come under the brake pedal and then we may not be able to put the brakes. Sometimes we put even throw the chocolate wrappers or any other trash water bottles. Please be careful about that. This is a very simple uh, point but then many times accidents happen because of this also. Some people install as an accessories crash bar, side bars on the vehicles. So the sensors are then hidden. If the sensor does not sense the impact your airbags will not work so please make sure that you do not install such accessories your vehicle i can say the modern cars are already built up and designed in such a way they have got something called crumble zone when the accident happens between the point of the accident and between you there are a lot of crumble zones they will crumble and the impact will not come to you so there's no need of according to me putting such accessories as crash bars or uh, uh, sidebars which they call it uh, another thing which uh, is very simple in terms of this uh, uh, car safety uh, there are many the list is very long but i have i'm just trying to give seven or eight of them is uh, when you is the is the lane lane changing many accidents happen because of the uh, lane changing we do not we suddenly change the lane do give an do, you can change the lane but do give an indicator because many times i would say uh, accidents happen because of fault of others also and last point which before i end this short video which comes to my mind is that please do not drive on the other side of the road don't have shortcuts sometimes what happens by mistake we take a flyover we suddenly realize no we had we should not have taken we start coming back inside put the uh, emergency light on this is also a shortcut please do not take any such shortcut Accidents happen suddenly, though they happen one in hundred thousand, one in ten thousand kind of thing. But the result sometimes which we normally face, uh, it could be very painful. So let's drive very carefully. And this is all I wanted to say about uh, the seat belts, the airbags, and few safety points which I just mentioned about the car. Please make sure that you, when you drive next time, you put your seat belt on. And please drive carefully. Thank you very much. See you soon again.